Welcome back. Now, all carrier one and four geothermal plants in Naivasha are set for rehabilitation in a six billion shillings deal between the Kenyan and German governments. The partnership will enhance the government's target of increasing the use of renewable energy in the country by injecting a further 40 megawatts to the national grid. Renewable energy sources generate over 80% of Kenya's electricity today, placing the country on its way to meeting its goal of transitioning to 100% clean energy by 2030. As of 2022, the country had installed over 170 megawatts of generation potential from solar power, with nearly two-thirds of that amount having been added to its grid in 2021 alone. In line with this, the partnership between the Kenyan and the German government will allow for extensive geothermal expansion that will see the country become a major exporter of electricity in the region. Kenya is actually leading in terms of climate change and we want to move it to 100 percent by 2030. Additionally, it also aims to increase electricity connectivity both in urban and rural areas. Kenya will be a net exporter of power to Europe. When I let Magarizao to Nauzia power and will become a rich country as we export power to the rest of the world. Stakeholders say the rehabilitation of the power plants will allow for sustainable development that will help reduce greenhouse gas emissions at the required rates. This is what is contributing within and then the others to where Kenya is producing green energy so that our people can get jobs. 